Hey, what's going on? Luke here, and once again, we're here to do another video talking about the new AFL 23 game. Now, I wish I was here talking about a brand new NRL game, and we had like a little Rugby League Legends one, sort of like a cartoon, arcadey one, and it, it was fantastic. It's fantastic for what it is, but at the end of the day, it's not like a mainstream release. It's not a fully licensed release. I wouldn't necessarily count it as like the brand new Rugby League game. Obviously, it is a new Rugby League game, but it's not the Rugby League game. And with AFL 23 being a couple of days away from being released, they've actually let some content creators uh, go and you know go to the studios and go take a look at the game and play it and record it and because it's made by the same people who used to make the Rugby League games it's kind of it's kind of like it's bittersweet because with the Rugby League games they weren't necessarily like the best top notch quality but at the end of the day they were making Rugby League games fairly you know fairly consistently maybe not with the same consistency as you know AFL or rugby union or cricket some of the other ones that have been made over the years in terms of like Australian sort of sports but at least they were getting made. We haven't seen a game made since 2017 and it's, like I said, it's very, very bittersweet seeing this new AFL 23 game come out and you see some of the features that, you know, there's some sort of like ultimate team, you know, my my team sort of mode uh, that we've been, you know, fantasizing about in Rugby League games for years and years and years essentially and to see them get it and, you know, have legends in the game and that sort of stuff. Even the gameplay, it, it looks so crisp and clean and, you know, I'm half tempted to get it. I'm not even an AFL fan and I'm half tempted to get it and I feel like, that in itself should, you know, screams the NRL, like, oh man, we're missing out. Like, I'm sitting here, I don't watch AFL. I don't watch it week to week. Bet the grand final is the only game I watch. I've never been to a game in real life. Uh, you know, there's local games. I played it, like, at school a couple times. So I'm someone who hasn't really played AFL, never watched AFL, but I've seen a few content creators go and play the game, and there's obviously a brand new game coming out, and I'm going, ooh, I wouldn't mind picking up that game. A sport that I don't even really play, I'm considering picking up, like, the game for it. Now, the NRL are always behind on this sort of stuff, and, you know, I was even thinking about it, I might do a video on it, but I wouldn't even be surprised if, you know, the NRL not releasing a new game, or just a rugby league game in general, I should say, not necessarily NRL, but a new rugby league game being released, I wouldn't be surprised if it was due to, you know, obviously the new team, but, you know, even, like, the women's game and that sort of stuff, um, I feel like, you know, they're constantly adding new teams and that sort of stuff, so I wouldn't even be surprised if it's just little things like that, but, um... Look, end of the day, the AFL I've released yet again another game, and this one actually looks like it's going to be a you know a really good game, and I think it's going to be a, quite a popular game. Um, you got Caden McDonald, you you got Twisty, um, you got a few guys who are you know quite popular in the AFL scene um, who make videos, and obviously the new game coming out. Um, I'm intrigued to see sort of the interest in their videos just as a content creator myself um, Just seeing you know how popular it is because their videos are popping off at the moment So yeah, I'm just intrigued to see sort of you know what sort of uh, what sort of views they get because I feel like you'll draw in a lot of attention To not only the game, but just to the AFL in general um, You've got plenty of people who probably watch their videos and you know It's, it's just like a new, a new outlet for the AFL to reach new audiences And I think that's what the, that's what video games do and I wish that's what the NRL would understand uh, you know people make Make videos, you know, make highlights, packages and stuff, and the NRL strikes down the videos and, you know, claims all the videos and all that sort of stuff. And for me, I just feel like the NRL just totally misses the mark, and I think I've titled this video something along the lines of, like, the AFL wins again, and that's exactly what it is. The AFL are releasing, yet again, another video game, another opportunity for the NRL to sort of hit back or, you know, be in the market, be competitive in terms of sports games, in terms of bringing new eyes to the product. They're always talking about, you know, taking the game to, you know, Las Vegas is the latest one. They want to take it over to, to America. Ding, ding, ding. I have an idea. Release a video game and then Americans can just play it. They don't, you don't even have to send a game over there. You can just, you can just download the game and you can just, you can just play it. Like it's as simple as that. But no, they won't do that. Or at least when they do do it, it'll be, you know, years and years and years after the last one. It's just like the NRL can never get any sort of like momentum in my opinion. But um, just in terms of the actual game itself, the AFL game looks quite good. The career mode looks good. Looks quite in depth. Um, you know, all the player models look really good. And, and obviously like with the new generation of consoles and all that sort of stuff, all the new player scans, it kind of just does show you the potential that I guess that Big Ant did have, um, but also that, you know, NRL games can have as well. Because uh, I feel like the NRL game is probably an easier game to make, I would say, just in terms of, you know, AFL has a lot of stuff going on off the ball and that sort of stuff, whereas the NRL is pretty pretty straightforward. So uh, I feel like the NRL has a lot of potential. Just Rugby League in general has a lot of potential for a video game. We even saw like a little independent one with the Rugby League Legends make a fairly sort of in-depth one for an arcade mobile style game. So it does show you that, you know, you get some money behind it. You get some significant money behind it. And I think they can make a really, really good game. In the past, the Rugby League Live series, it hasn't been like a terrible series. Obviously, 
hey, I have a love-hate relationship with it. It can be frustrating at times. Uh, I'm sure there's there's plenty of glitches. You've all, you've all seen it. You've all seen me raging. You know, it's not the best of games, but it's also not the worst game ever. Um, and a lot of my problems come from playing it so often and, and, you know, playing it on video and all that sort of stuff. Whereas if you're just like a general person playing, you know, Rugby League Live 2 or Rugby League Live 3, Rugby League Live 4, I'm sure you would have had fun on it. Maybe not so much Rugby League Live 4. I remember there being a little bit of problems, but... Um, yeah, just in terms of the AFL game, I'm sure every game of them has, hasn't been a hit straight away. Um, probably a little bit hit and miss, but yeah, this latest one, it definitely looks like a hit. So, uh, hey, kudos to the AFL, um, doing something right there. And like I said, you might've even got like a new sort of fan. I don't know if you want to call that, but, um, hey, I wouldn't be the only one thinking this in terms of, you know, going up and picking up the game for someone who normally wouldn't get an AFL game because the game looks good and because of, you know, all the hype, all the buzz uh, of the content creators. And also just because there's been a lack of like NRL game, you start to look elsewhere, like to be honest with you. So um, yeah, that's just another opportunity that NRL are missing out on. And uh, the AFL has sort of leaped ahead a little bit in my opinion. But um, guys, let me know in the comment section below. What are your thoughts of AFL 23? Are you going to be picking it up? Are you an NRL fan? Are you an AFL fan? Are you a fan of both? I've already talked about me maybe picking up the game and I'm not an AFL fan. Are there any NRL fans who literally don't care about AFL but might even pick up the game just because it's a new sports game? Let me know in the comment section below. And as guys, I'm going to wrap things up. You hopefully did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Usually I go and talk about leaving likes and all that stuff at the start of the video. I'm leaving it to the end of the video for this one. So if you could leave a like, it helps out the channel massively. Obviously, the more likes, the more growth of the channel. So go ahead, leave a like, subscribe. I'm on the road to 15,000 subscribers. So if you could leave a subscription, that'd be fantastic as well. Um, also, go ahead and chuck me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT. Uh, that covers all of my social medias, essentially. I'm probably the most active on Instagram, so give me a follow on that. But um, yeah, all of them are on the screen right now. It's Mr. Luke and YT. Also, need to give a special mention to the members of the channel. I think we have about 10 currently. Shout out to all of you guys. Uh, you really, really help out the channel. In terms of my life at the moment and keeping me afloat, you are definitely doing that. You are doing a hell of a job there. Um, also, the super chat is as well. When I'm streaming and I see you guys super chat, it definitely makes my day, literally makes the whole stream. I'm, I'm sure you can see my uh, expressions when you know I get a super chat. You can see the excitement. So shout out to everybody who's become a member and who's left super chats. Um, it really is appreciated. Anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to wrap things up here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more content on the channel, uh, more for League Live 4, because we don't have a new game. But um, stay tuned for more content on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. See you.